रहीम अस्सलाम वालेकुम यूके सेवन न्यूज के साथ मैं हूँ होशियान दलीब लीड से रिपोर्ट कर रहे हैं आसफ कुरैशी देखते हैं ये रिपोर्ट लेबर पार्टी बरतानिया लीड्स के रहनमा और सदर फ्रेंड्स ऑफ कश्मीर चौधरी शौकत अली ने 8 जून बरतानिया में होने वाले इलेक्शन के हवाले से कॉर्नर मीटिंग का अहतमाम किया जिससे शैडो मिनिस्टर और उम्मीदवार बनाए पार्लियामेंट फैबियन हेमिल्टन समेत काउंसलर्स और कम्यूनिटी रहनमाओं फ्रेंड्स ऑफ कश्मीर के अहदेदारान की कसर तादाद ने शिरकत की इस मौका पर मेज़बान तकरीब समेत दीगर मकर ने इजहार ख्याल करते हुए कहा our chief guest fabian hamilton councillors friends assalam alaikum and good afternoon <coughs> first of all first of all i welcome you all and big thank you to attending this meeting i know it's really bad weather but still thank you again you come in this weather so today's meeting already councillor gulam hussain mentioned to you i won't take much time but the fabian i've been working with the fabian last 15 years so i don't need to say much about him because you can see whenever you call him is there is only one phone call away from you but other thing i was going to say to you because obviously a lot of people mentioned about kashmir issue and i spoke to fabian and i'm going to say again to him whenever he's elected i want him to put kashmir issue first up on his agenda <laughs> and, i know previously this word been labor but this time they targeted fabian seat from tory government but i can tell you fabian there is a lot of people who left tory i've got friend here called asaf zubair he was a tory supporter but today is in this room because of labor party is a lot of people when you know, i was knocking door last couple of weeks yeah and every a lot of people fed from uh, tory government and they joined in the labor But once again, I don't want to take much time because I'll give time to Fabian because he's our special guest. So I would like to say a big thank you to everybody. And I'm sure, it's it's not about who gets into power. Uh, I've said it before. It's not about if Labour gets into power, the Tories get into power. It's actually about our livelihoods. It's about not only our livelihoods but also the livelihoods of, of our future generations to come. You've got to ask your question, the question: What sort of country do we want to live in? Do we want a government that is constantly and relentlessly Um, at every opportunity, um, cutting um, sort of vital services we have, or do we actually want a government that actually, or an economy that works for everybody, every single person, not just the privileged few, uh, predominantly that are down south um, or Miss May's friends. Um, also, do we want um, the NHS that we've all, I'm sure, relied on or, or will rely on in the future? Uh, do we want to protect it? Do we want to save it, or do we want it sold to the highest bidder? You've got to ask that question as well. Um, do we want a prime minister that comes um, specifically? My watch came to Harehill, but guess what? She didn't speak to anybody. She didn't. She spoke to the other folks from our Woodley and various different areas, but nobody from Harehill was there. <coughs> do we want that that leader leading uh, this country? No, we don't. We want. We don't. We don't. That's why I think it's so important. We have people like Fabian that represent us normal folks in Parliament, and he's done that in the past, and we will continue to do that. So please go out there, um, as uh, my. Um, Princess just said, we there's there's definitely uh, it's a numbers game. So if you go out there, it's not just about what we do today. It's also about various different connections we make in in various different towns. We've got to get out there. We've got to get the message out there. Vote Labour. That is the party to vote for. And it's also about thinking about our future generations as well. So please. Um, continue to do so, and I just want to say thank you very much to Showcat for organising this yeah. fantastic yeah. day. Yeah. I urge all the people of this city and uh, this part of the city to go out and support Fabian. Not only to vote, but obviously to support Fabian. And we need to get pe people like Fabian Hamilton to get re-elected uh, during this this uh, this election. But well, one thing we can do is we can talk to our workmates, and we can say. Vote Labour because the alternative is too horrible to think about. I've seen that Conservative manifesto, and it's horrible. Tories' austerity <coughs> policy is destroying communities. It's turning community against community, as everybody is struggling. My job on the council, Rebecca is an exec board member, I'm deputy exec board member, my portfolio is education. And you only have to look around to see how the education system that's been introduced 
the free schools, the academies that are taking money from mainstream schools who cannot afford to actually do the basic maintenance anymore on their schools. Free school meals policy, some of the things that they brought in in their manifesto actually will mean that working families, and let's face it, it's working families who are having to claim benefits. You should not have to claim benefits if you are working in this country. Something is not right. And what is not right is the Tory government. We need to, to make sure that everybody supports and continues to support Fabian and everybody turns up to vote. I will Mr. Mohammed Rafiq, who is the executive board member for employment and skills. Uh, I hope I've got the title right, but <laughs> if not, it's pretty much there. And you have also worked with Fabian for a long time, so you can give your own testimony. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, I'd like, I'd like to thank uh, Shoka. I'd like to thank uh, Shoka sir, for organizing this meeting. He does that just about every election and, uh, and gets everybody together, gets that momentum kind of going to get people you know, interested and enthused into, you know, uh, you know, the election day. And uh, I think, you know, uh, we don't need reminding. 8th of June is just around the corner now. I'm not, uh, and on the Kashmir issue, I mean, <laughs> I'm probably the only person that, where, where I get so many phone calls. One of the close friends of mine is Rajan Jabbat, who actually mm -hmm. works tirelessly on the Kashmir issue, not just in, 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 in this area, but anywhere in the country. Whenever there's Kashmiri leaders come over, there's meetings in the House of Commons, and he's sending emails, sending his texts, and Fabian is always there. You know. Good afternoon, uh, brothers and sisters, and thank you for coming today. Thank you to my dear friend Shokat Ali. He is always such a faithful friend, such a good man, such an honest man, and somebody who ha clearly has an awful lot of friends because you're all here because of him. My friends, my brothers, my sisters, this is not an election about me or about Jeremy Corbyn. This is an election about our values and what kind of society, as Salma says, we want to live in. Not just the kind of society we want for our city, for North East Leeds, for Moortown, but what we want for Yorkshire, for the United Kingdom, for the future of Europe and our planet. Because what we do in this election says a lot about us, the sort of world we want to live in, the sort of values we hold. It also says, because we're an internationalist party, what we think about our fellow human beings on the rest of this planet Earth. We only have one life. But that life should be shared because you enrich your life by sharing your life with others and what you have, the goodness, the, 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 uh, the blessings of the earth uh, upon us, we share. And the greatest gift we can have is to share with other people. In the end, we are a social animal. We are people who are born to live together and share with one another and look after one another. And we are all different. Thank God for that. But we are all human too. And my friends, unless we look after this planet Earth, there will be no Earth for our children to inherit. And let me just talk for a minute about children, because we value our children. We want them to have a good education. They are our future, the future of humanity. And if we do not invest in them and provide for them, they will suffer as a result. And this government is starving our children of the things they need most of all, their education, their well-being, their health is at risk. Abolishing free school meals, the Conservatives think that's a good idea. Contrast that with Labour, who's going to have free school meals for every child. Yeah. That's the difference. And look at our schools. In 13 years, my friends, we rebuilt all five high schools in this constituency for the benefit of our children, and look what a great job they do. What do the Conservatives do? They're slashing three and a half million pounds in the next two years from the five high schools in our constituency. This is a disgrace, and we need to tell the public out there, if they're thinking of voting Conservative, they're sacrificing their children's future. My friends, we know that one of the most 
important parts of our values, one of the things that shows the values we have more than anything else, that epitomizes those values, is something that the Labour government of 1948 created, something with it which Ian highlighted just earlier, our National Health Service. <laughs> Nothing says more about where we stand than the NHS. It is true the Tories want to sell it off. They created the Health and Social Care Act in 2012, the precursor of selling it off, of privatising it, of fragmenting the service that's done so much, not just for all of us when we need it, not just from birth through to old age and death, but more importantly to make our lives better, to cure us when we're ill, to look after us when we need it, irrespective of class or age or gender or disability. It's there for all of us. Nothing epitomises our values more, and yet it's under attack. We must stop that attack. We must make sure the NHS remains a public asset for all of us. And that's why we need a Labour government. <coughs> £30 billion in the next three years is needed just to keep the services we've got. Not to fragment them, not to diminish them. We've pledged to do that. We've also pledged to nationalise the railways, to make sure we have a decent public <coughs> transport system that we can all use and afford. We've also pledged that most important most vital substance, essential for all our lives, water. Plenty of it out there, by the way. Um, <laughs> but Yorkshire Water, as with all the other water companies, will be brought back into public ownership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the benefit of all, not for the profit of the few. So, how are we going to pay for it? They say, how are we going to pay for this? Well, it's very simple. We are one of the wealthiest countries in the world. We all know that, don't we? Because we live here. But the fact is, there are plenty who don't pay their dues. They don't pay what they can afford to pay. We want a fraction of the wealth of just 5% of this country. And those corporations like Amazon, like, like um, Vodafone, like some of the coffee people, we want, a little, we want them to pay the taxes that they should pay. The taxes that everybody else pays. No more or no less. We're not demanding that they be taxed so they don't exist anymore. We want their wealth creation. But we also want them to pay a fair amount so that the rest of us can benefit in this society. Other countries do it. And we're not asking the earth, actually. We're asking them to be about the same as about the middle way between Germany and the countries that charge less. At the moment, a, British, a corporation based in Britain pays less tax than any other country in Europe. We're saying pay about the median. The average. That's all. This isn't extremism. It's not communism. It's common sense. And it's common sense because we have a right to share what we all earn together for the benefit of each other. That's why we're in the Labour Party. That's why we must move forward. I'm going to say one more thing about internationalism. We've said a lot about Kashmir. The Labour Party stands for self-determination for all peoples. That means if you live in Burma or Tibet, or you live in Kashmir, or you live in the occupied territories in Israel and Palestine, you have the right to decide your future for yourself. The Kashmiris, 1948, the United Nations resolutions started being passed. Where is that plebiscite? Where is that referendum? We've had referendums here, haven't we? Where's the, ref the most important referendum for the Indian subcontinent? The right of Kashmiris to decide for themselves what future they want. And, as you know, I'm still a shadow foreign minister. I'm the shadow minister for peace and disarmament. It's a, it's a post created by Jeremy Corbyn. It's unique. It's never been done before. I don't shadow another government minister because there is no minister for peace and disarmament. But if we win on the 9th of June, there will be, and it'll be a cabinet post. And I'm praying that Jeremy will ask me to take it up. Because this is one of the most important things we can do. Learn to live in peace. Learn to resolve our differences. Learn that together we're stronger than we are individually. And together we can decide collectively our own destiny. That's all we ask. Our own destiny together. So it's ironic to me that there are some in our community that say Fabian Hamilton's done nothing to the Kashmiri people. And Mohammed Rafiq's right. He contacts me regularly and says, Rajan Ajabat Hussein, who's not a Labour Party member, is he? But he stands, he's a Tory, but he stands up for the Kashmiri people. We don't care. We put party differences aside when it comes to self-determination. And he organises meetings 
incessantly in Parliament, sometimes too often, twice a week sometimes. But when he asks, and when we're there, we go to those meetings, all of us, across the party divide, because we believe in people's right to self-determination. So I won't have anybody say to me that I don't care about the future of the Kashmiri people, that I have abandoned them. That is not true. In <laughs> I will always stand up for their right to self-determination, but there are other issues. Here's an irony. I went to the, my, my brothers and sisters in the Jewish community the other day. People who have a lot in common with all of us in this room, and you know my heritage. Israel has a right to exist, but so does the state of Palestine. And I said that to the Jewish community. And they attacked me for saying that. And then I hear some in the Kashmiri community say, Fabian doesn't stand up for the Palestinians. And yet, the previous day, I'm told... Fabian stands up for the Palestinians against the Israelis, and that's terrible. No, my friends, we want peace for all peoples. Palestinians deserve their right to self-determination. Israel does too. All the peoples of Earth do. I've done a lot with the Tibetan people, a people far away, far away from us, in the heights of the Himalayas behind Nepal. But they have the right too to self-determination, to revere their Dalai Lama and their own faith of Buddhism a religion that's done so much good in their part of the world, and yet China's not allowing that to happen. Self-determination for Tibetans too. Burma's a country that suffered as well, equally. We don't want to see the oppression of the Muslim people, the Rohingya people, in Burma. It's been appalling what's happening. We must stand up for them too. It doesn't matter what their faith is, they're a minority, a Muslim minority. I will stand up for them as I stand up for any oppressed minority on this earth. That's what Labour values are about. Don't know how many of us have the cause of collective organisation and the Labour Party in our hearts. They don't know that, but you do. And we're all going to go out there from now right up till the 8th, 10 o'clock at night on the 8th of June. And we're going to say, vote Labour, create a better North East Leeds, a better Moortown, a better city and a better country, and I hope a better world. Thank you very much. برطانیہ میں الیکشن کا آغاز ہو چکا ہے تمام لوگ ایسے لوگوں کا انتخاب کریں جو برطانیہ کی بہتری کے لیے کام کر سکیں اور بالخصوص جو تارکین وطن برطانیہ میں آباد ہیں ان کے لیے اچھی پالیسیاں لا سکیں آصف قریشی لیڈس اسی کے ساتھ ہی ہمیں دیجیے اجازت ناظرین سوشل میڈیا پر ہمارا چینل دیکھتے رہیے اور اپنی قیمتی آرا سے ضرور نوازیے اللہ سے کے بھان